God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hands, just the sheep of His hands. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture. And the sheep of his hands, just the sheep of his hands. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. This Mass is offered for the departed soul of Louis Joseph. Today, we are celebrating his first death anniversary remembering all the blessings that God has given through him to his family and his dedicated service for the family and also for the Christian brothers and sisters offered by Claudine and family members. We especially remember his soul. May God grant him eternal bliss. And also we pray for the soul of Shashikala Mary. May God grant eternal bliss to her offered by Nirmala and family, and all for all the souls in the purgatory offered by Sharin and family, and also of a special intention of Benny and Rosie, the mother-in-law of Benny, and also intention of John C. And also we pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a job intention. Intention of Lakshmi for deliverance from all the evil through a mother conversion, Thanksgiving to St. Anthony on birthday of Nikita Isaac, offered by Isaac and Anita. Thanksgiving to St. Anthony on third birthday of Neil Joseph, by, offered by grandparents Joseph Anthony and Rose Joseph. And also thanks to the Sacred Heart of Jesus by Percy Pinto and family. Thanksgiving St. Anthony, offered by Yes, Anthony Das, Gunnar Selvi, and family. And also we praise all our brothers and sisters, those who ask us to pray, to whom we promised our prayers, all our prayers and intentions in the Holy Eucharist. Very especially we pray for all the congregation that belongs to Sister St. Alphonsa. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today we need to be proud and also glorify God. India's first women saint, Saint Alphonsa, the martyrdom or the death in pain and suffering, everything comes in one way because we offer our life for God. Saint Alphonsa, a sister, belongs to a very loving and caring family, but in her life she had a lot of suffering. When Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI canonized her, beautifully spoke about her and said, all her suffering she offered to God for the healing of our fellow brothers and sisters. This was a life she surrendered. She went through a lot of problems in her own convent, the places where so-called a religious, they themselves gave a suffering for her because Satan used even own religious people to make them to go against God. Bas, 
Saint Alfonso, so I used to call Sister Alfonso. She took all the suffering for the greater glory of God and all her wounds she offered to Jesus so that that wounds and pains may receive the healing for our fellow brothers and sisters who need the healing of God. Such a good saint we have in our country. On her name today we are glorifying God. For her, let us thank God. And also ask St. Alfonso to intercede for all of us. Let there be more, many more saints may come in our country and many more saints may follow to become a saint like her. As we surrender ourselves to God, times we have grumbled at God by looking at our pains and suffering, the agonies, difficulties when we see in our life. Let us take St. Alfonso as a great model in our life and offer ourselves to God in the Holy Eucharist and ask Jesus to give the forgiveness for us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear us, God our Savior, that as we rejoice in commemorating the Virgin Blessed Saint Alfonso, we may be instructed by her loving devotions through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the virgin daughter of my people is struck down with a great wound, with a very grievous blow. If I go out into the field, behold, those slain by the sword, and if I enter the city, behold, the diseases of famine. For both prophet and priest ply their trade through the land and have no knowledge. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Does your soul loathe Zion? Why have you struck us down so that there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but no good came. For a time of healing, but behold, terror. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your name's sake. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Are there any among the false gods of the nation that can bring rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Are you not he, O Lord, our God? We set our hope on you, for you do all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response shall be, For the sake of the glory of your name, free us, O Lord. For the sake of the glory of your name, free us, O Lord. Do not remember against us, the guilt of former times. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Our response? For the sake of the glory of your name, free us, O Lord. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of your name. Free us and forgive us our sins because of your name. Our response? 
for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord let the groans of the prisoners come before you your strong arm reprieve these condemned to death our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord then we your people the flock of your pasture will give you thanks forever and ever from age to age we will recount your praise our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord kindly rise for the gospel acclamation sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the lord the seed is the word of god and the sower is christ all who find him will abide forever sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the lord the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord at the time jesus left the crowds and went into the house and his disciples came to him saying explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field he answered he who sows a good seed is a son of man the field is the world and the good seed means the sons of the kingdom and the weeds are the sons of the evil and the enemy who sowed them is the devil and the harvest is a close of the age and the reapers are angels just as the weeds are gathered and burned in fire so will it be at the close of the age the son of man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evil do us and throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father he who has ears let him hear the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. The seed is the word of God the sower is Christ and all who find him will abide forever We see gospel of Matthew chapter 13 verses 36 onwards The seed is the word of God the sower is Christ and all who finds him will abide in him Seed is the word of God what is word of God God himself will see gospel of John chapter 1 verses 4 onwards the word became flesh and the word god himself and we see the sower is a christ we see book of genesis the god the father almighty is called as a creator and he created everything and he is the one as to come as a human and we see the same gospel of john chapter 14 speaks about abide in him and he has the full life for you that is what jesus and one who finds in him there is a life in him you see same gospel of john speaks about that unless you abide in him you will not have a life your sisters and brothers today once again holy mother church brings this passage for us gospel of matthew chapter 13 verses 36 on which speaks about weeds and the weeds If you see the first very important thing about this wheat and the weeds there's no any distinction in that when you take both in the, both the hands you will not find which is a weed and which weeds because both look so similar the both the seeds will look very similar so much a beautiful similarity will be there you cannot differentiate that only the farmer knows the one who sows he knows it because the one who sower is god and god knows what is good and what is bad that's a reason he has given good for all of us 
But what we do, because of the freedom that God has given to us, we would like to explore more things that our mind and heart, everything is greater than God. When we have enough up to here, we come to the conclusion there is no God itself. Because stomach is full. As in Paul's book of Romans, he says that people are now, they made their bellies at a God. My stomach is full, no need to worry about anything. My barn is full, no worry of anything. Barn, we can use today's trend, my bank balance is full, no need of God. This is very important for us to make a note about this. Today's first reading, Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 14, as well as, if you refer, chapter 15, speaks about that calling God to help us. Because of all ancestor sins, because of our own sin, we're facing the evil. And today we see, Lord is asking to God the Father Almighty, on behalf of the people, and God also speaking through him to the people, and says that, I will not break the covenant, the covenant what I made with Abraham, the covenant made with all ancestors, the covenant made with David, but you, because of your sin, you're breaking my covenant. And because of that, you're falling to sin. But I will remain as I am. Because I promised my blessings always there on you, on your family. But it is you, because of your sin, you're going far away from me. And that makes you to get into evil and you face all this problem. As a consequence, you have to face all these things. So my dear sisters and brothers, God says, he will not break his covenant with us. He always loves us. He cares for us. And he's with us always till the end of the time, provided we be with him. We hold on to him. That's why I said, the Gospel of John chapter 14 speaks about that unless a branch abides with the trunk or with the tree, it won't bear the fruit. So we need to abide and to bear fruit. And today we see, as Jesus was giving explanation about the wheat and weeds, God the Father Almighty knows everything that exists in the world he, that He made out of His love, and that is good. But because of our sin, because of our greedy, because of our selfish, we ourselves gave birth to weeds. The first point is very important, we should make note. What does He say in Gospel of Matthew chapter 13, verses 40? He says, the field is there. Whose field is that? Field doesn't belong to somebody. Field does belong to Satan or devil. The field belongs to God. The field belongs to God. And God's kingdom is that field. In that field, God has got freedom and spreading out the good seeds. That's what he does it. In our own life, there are people who are against us, who are jealous of us. Similarly, the Satans are jealous about God and God's word, God's love. The Satan comes in the night, gets into God's field, throws the weeds because it wants to destroy whatever God has done. The first part is this. The second thing is this. God, so loving and kind, He had even concern even for the weeds. He allows even the weed and the weeds both to grow together. Reason? Not that He loves them. Rather, He loves us. Because we are so much get intimated, so much get united with the sin. We lost the sense of sin. Today's world, we lost our sense of sin, right? Anything, whatever you do, we justify the act. Whatever gadgets you buy, we justify that for the purpose of online classes, online teaching, but what the children are doing, background. The innocent ones, they lost their childhood life. The innocents, they have lost. They are in sin. What the cause for it? Because they're involved in so much, we don't know now what is good and what is bad. Like weed and weeds, both are together now. So only God the Father Almighty, Jesus our Savior, knows it very well. If I remove this sin from this guy, something evil will happen. And I have to uproot even him or her. That's the reason God allows every one of us to grow along with the sin. Right time, right thing, you have to come out of it. This is the right day, right time. We have to come out of it because the gospel has been proclaimed. The kingdom of God is proclaimed. We have been giving explanation. What is sin? And when we come to know this is sin, then you try to come out of it. You still hold on it. Then the third stage will be that 
at the time of reaping, you'll be pulled and bind together, we'll be burned. So my dear sisters and brothers, the Lord is inviting each and every one of us. Be careful because we have lost the sense of sin. We justify everything, whatever it is. One hand we keep Bible, another hand we keep a gadgets. What's coming in the gadgets, we don't know. God has created for all good purpose, but even the bad is coming in that. Try to differentiate that. Try to find out what is wrong in it and keep it aside and burn it off by yourself. Because if God burns, he's going to burn entire, a whole being. If we burn ourselves, we'll escape ourselves with the help of the Holy Spirit. And finally, he says that those who throw it of all the sin, they will shine like a new moon or like a new morning star. They will be blessed, they'll be welcomed by God. It's a great example today as we celebrate the feast of St. Alphonsa. So much a problem she faced. The own religious life people were against her. In the name of God, they were persecuting her. Everything she offered. She becomes a very great model, even for religious, to show them how you have to be so simple, loving, accepting the cross, accepting the suffering. We cannot today, we take the side, as I said, today we're living in a world, in the name of administration committing sin, the name of authority committing sin, the name of power committing sin. Everything today, nothing in presence of God. All first is mission, ministry, and service. That is what for what God has called. And each and every Christian should take St. Alphonsa as a great model and offer all our suffering for the greater glory of God. And also St. Anthony stands. He's greater saint, we all the say. During his formation time, he too had a lot of sufferings. Today, as we remember St. Alphonsa, if you remember our patron saint, he'd had a lot of problems in his, during his lifetime. And today, he's there to intercede for all of us. And let us ask the help of St. Alphonsa, St. Anthony, to give us a grace to identify what is the weed and what is the weeds. Let him give the grace for us what is sin and what is not sin and what is the will of God and to do according to him and be part of his kingdom. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine, work of a human hands, it will become our spiritual reign. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit, contrite heart, may be accepted by your Lord, may I sacrifice in this day to please you, O Lord, for worship my sin. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed St. Alphonsa, we humbly implore your majesty that as our merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess in living faith. And His coming in glory we unwavering, unwavering hope. 
as with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy day for these gifts we pray by sending down your holy spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, a church spread through all the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all the brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all our departed brothers, sisters, parents, and family. May God grant them eternal bliss and welcome them in His kingdom. Very especially, we remember. the departed soul of louis joseph may god grant him eternal bliss in his kingdom we remember the departed soul of shashikala mary we remember the departed souls all that are in purgatory offered by sharin family and also we pray for the souls that be not remembered the soul of george victoria the souls have been there not identified by the families have mercy lord and all the families who lost the near and dear ones accept them in your kingdom who have died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face have mercy lord the families all gathered here those who ask us to pray to whom you promise a prayer very especially we offer those who ask us to pray to whom you are promised those who are sick those who are hospitalized those who are under treatment those who are celebrating with us in the holy eucharist to the live youtube channels another twitters another lord we offer all our prayers and intentions very especially those who offer this holy eucharist the intention of lakshmi for a marriage and for a job intention of lakshmi for deliverance from all the evil we offer the intention of benny intention of rosie intention of john c we place all their prayers and intentions at your feet and also very especially we offer those who offer a thanksgiving to you We offer Anthony Das Guna Selvi and family. We pray for Percy Pinto and family, and very especially we pray for children who are celebrating the birthday. Nikita, Isaac. We pray for Neil, Joseph. Let them have the gift of your wisdom and your Holy Spirit as a grace upon them and their family. Lord, we place all our prayers and petitions on this altar. Very especially, we need you, our grace, to distinguish and differentiate what is sin and what is good. Make us to walk. In the right path, make us to be a children of light. Have mercy on us, all we pray. Saint Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints. Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Alphonsa, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, such apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus. The God of Jeremiah, the God of entire Israel, the God of entire humanity, the one who has life even after death. He says, I will not break the covenant with you. I love you, he says. Let us come to him, put forth our prayers and petitions, and surrender, accept him as his Lord, God, and Savior, and do his will, and become a part of his kingdom. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present, that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there 
as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen Behold the bridegroom is coming come out to meet Christ the Lord Let us pray Renewed by partaking of this divine gift we pray O Lord our God that by the example of blessed Saint Alphonsa bearing in our body the death of Jesus our savior we may strive to hold fast you alone through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Prayer to Saint Anthony O oh, loving Saint Anthony, you were a special witness of God's power and loving imitator of Jesus, who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor. We lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The mass is ended. Thanks be to God. He is my everything, He is my all, He is my everything, both great and small, He gave us life for me, made everything new. He is my everything, now how about you?